Endometriosis is a common and worrying disease in women. It's caused by the fact that the same tissue that lines the inside of the uterus that you get your period from every month, seeds as inappropriate tissue out in the pelvis. When it does that, it still has a period, so it causes inflammation, pain and bleeding internally. That can cause scarring and damage in the pelvis. And that scarring and damage, plus the influence of the endometriosis, can make it much more difficult for patients to get pregnant. The major symptoms of endometriosis are pain. Pain with your periods, pain with intercourse, bowel motion pain when you have your periods, pain outside of your periods, particularly mid-cycle pain when you ovulate. So that's, pain is a really important symptom of endometriosis. But endometriosis can also make your periods worse, irregular or heavy, and of course, it's an important cause of infertility. The first step to diagnosing endometriosis is to listen to the patient, get a good history, try and understand the pain they're having, and most importantly, don't dismiss it. Too often patients have had their pain ignored and the endometriosis has been missed. The next step is to do a good internal examination and a good ultrasound because sometimes you can pick up the endometriosis with that and tell the patient that's the diagnosis. But the real gold standard is to do a laparoscopy, a small operation where the patient's put to sleep, a nick is made in the belly button, and we have a telescope inside the tummy and we check the pelvis out. The best treatment is nearly always to do a laparoscopy, an operation where we put a telescope in through the belly button and then we make a series of other little cuts and then what we do is we actually remove the endometriosis. Excisional surgery where the disease is taken out of the body is way and above the best proven treatment for endometriosis. There are other treatments that can sometimes be applied. There are hormonal treatments. The oral contraceptive pill is sometimes helpful as well. Uh, Sometimes in the patients who wish to become pregnant, pregnancy and breastfeeding is curative for endometriosis. So you have a win-win in the couples who are having trouble getting pregnant. The trick is treating the endometriosis first to help them get pregnant, and then the pregnancy finishes the job. The key to endometriosis treatment is individualization of patient care. You've got to listen to the patient's symptoms. What you've got to do then is you've got to diagnose the patient accurately. Once you know the extent of the endometriosis, you can apply surgery or hormonal treatment or a combination of both. The key is to find out from the patients what the goal of their treatment is, what they're prepared to accept and what the side effects of the treatment may be, and make sure that you design the right protocol for them. Effective treatment of endometriosis can raise a couple's fertility, no matter how they want to get pregnant. If they're trying to get pregnant at home, you treat their endometriosis, they'll have a better chance. If they have simple infertility treatment, like intrauterine inseminations, that will work better in the patient whose endometriosis has been treated. But still, quite a lot of endometriosis patients still need IVF to get pregnant. But IVF will work more successfully in endometriosis patients who've had their disease treated. If a patient's worried that she might have endometriosis, the smartest thing she can do is come and see one of us. You need a diagnosis. You need someone to listen, sort out your pain, and tell you whether that disease is present or not. If you want to get pregnant, we can help there. But if you don't want to get pregnant, we can protect your fertility and reduce your pain and make your life more comfortable. That's what it's all about.